Well, the goal for today is all the way up there. Let's see how far we get. The trick for all of those who have been in China before, stairs, more stairs, until infinity. Seeing how the mountain tops shimmer through the canopy, I thought we were almost there. But no, we're at 1000 meters of 2500 meters. Nice. Well, to be honest, the views are definitely worth it. Well, uh, update from uh, halfway. As you can see, uh, I've turned some sort of uh, Super Saiyan. Uh, we're halfway, walked up about uh, 90 stairs so far, 90 stairs, 90 floors. And we're halfway, uh, maybe I should have taken the gable cart, but uh, it's nice to push myself. Uh, of course, I'm a big guy, I'm two meters tall. Uh, I'm not the slimmest person either. So I have to carry a lot of weight, but uh, we're getting there. So. And uh, the view, not really sure if you can see it, but it's, uh, it's beautiful. <music> Well, we're at uh, 80%, so it looks like we're gonna make it. So uh, here I am at my first Chinese glass-like bridge. Actually, it's a double bridge. You can go up here and you can go down here. Uh, and down there, there's a thing. But the scenery is really nice. For some reason, we've been walking all these this steps, but Chinese people, if they're hiking, they're really talking about this. An escalator in the middle of the mountains. So when in China, hike as China's Chinese do. If you're ever wondering what you should take to a mountain, um, a saxophone, that's, that's, that's what you need to take. And as a matter of convenience, we're taking the cable bar down. Second day of hiking, could be worse. Well, second day of hiking, um, my uh, legs are all warmed up now. So the amount of stairs don't frighten me anymore. However, uh, still about 150 floors today. 
So uh, we're we'll almost reached the village. There we will have some uh, traditional lunch and uh, we'll see how it goes. village right now and it's uh, quite uh, interesting to see how well we're not we're about three hours away from Ningbo uh, but how rural things can become you know how prosperous a city like Ningbo can be um, and I wouldn't say poor I mean there's loads of stuff here but it's 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 more primitive even though of course in the rest of the world everybody has uh, has their phones <coughs> so it's not like uh, uh, traveling around 20 years ago or uh, 10 years back in time. But it is quite interesting to see how they live here. It's like all these places are connected. Uh, little courtyards like this are connected to other courtyards. And that's the village. And I mean, to be honest, if you had to wake up with backdrops like this every day, I mean, it can be worse things than that, right? So. Uh, Since this village is only reachable by basically walking, they're self-sustaining. So everyone has their own little farm. In this case, I'm not sure if you can see it, but those are actually beehives. So everyone gets their own food and lives based on that. guys that was it for this uh, this uh, week a hike more than 50,000 steps more than 400 floors I had a great time I hope you enjoyed the scenic views that I could share with you hopefully see you next time guys Before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.